Hello, everybody, and welcome to our English acquiring uh, class. So, uh, in today's video, we are going to uh, study the second part of uh, as if clauses. Uh, in the previous video, in the in the video uh, just before this video, uh, we studied the first part of. Uh, as if clauses, and uh, as you know, they are uh, both in past or all in past and uh, future, uh, but they uh, represent a situation uh, which is real, which is not unreal. So in today's video, we are going to study again uh, as if clauses, uh, both in present and future and past, but in unreal situations. Yes, they are. They will be unreal. Okay. For example, uh, Nazif, uh, Nazif works as if he is a gardener. Okay? If this is possible. Or uh, Nazif worked uh, as if he were as if, sorry, as if he was a gardener, because this is real. This is the summary, a short summary with uh, two or three example sentences, summary of the previous video. But in this video, we will study, we will uh, say like this. Uh, Nazif, uh, Nazif uh, is a doctor, for example. Uh, he looks, uh, Nazif looks as if he were as if he were a dragon, as if he were the, uh, an impossible, improbable thing. Yes, we resemble him uh, to we resemble him a, an a improbable uh, situation or object, and we say Nazif uh, works, for example, as if he were a dragon, as if he were. A bulldozer, yeah, something like this, because everybody knows that a person, uh, including Nazif, uh, cannot be a machine or cannot be a, a, an animal. Okay, so let's uh, see it in detail and uh, get the general idea and the idea of the as if closes and let's get to know let's get to know uh, the second part of as if closes okay all right and welcome again okay uh, yes so this is trip nine as if or as though a hundred percent they are the same. They have, they give, they give the same message. Okay. Now this time, this is B part to express an unreal situation. Okay. The situation is just hypothetical or imaginary. And this B part has an A and B part as well. Now in this uh, B part of A part of B part, we will study this structure. Uh, the main clause is in simple present tense, and as if clause, the second part, is in past or past perfect. Okay. Now, uh, it is just like the second type of if clause. Okay. Now, dialogue one. Look at that old woman. Look at that old woman. She behaves as if she were a little girl. Maybe she is 70, 80, or 90 years old, but she behaves as if she were a little girl. So this is an improbable situation. How does she dress? She dresses as if she were a queen, for example. She dresses as if she were a queen. Okay. 2A. That poet is walking. Yes, that poet is walking as if he were on moon now. 
But if we say that poet is walking as if, uh, as if he is, uh, he is in a stadium for it is possible. Yes, it is a real situation. It 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 is probable. But this time we say, and just like uh, it is in wish clauses, we prefer were for all uh, subjects, including uh, singular subjects. That poet is walking as if he were on, on the moon now. That poet is walking as if he had been to the moon yesterday. How is that writer uh, walking? That writer is walking as if he were going to go to the moon tomorrow, as if he were going to go to the moon tomorrow. Okay. Yes, uh, when I was a teacher uh, before uh, retiring, we used to say tea is not a luxury for a teacher or for teachers. Yes, we really need uh, drinking. We really need to drink tea. Okay, now dialogue uh, three. Latif seems, Latif seems as if he saw a dragon today. Okay, Latif seems as if he saw a dragon today. Not simple present tense, but simple past tense with as if clause, although main clause in, in simple present tense. This is the crux of the matter. Latif seems as if he had seen a dragon yesterday. Yes, this is also possible. Latif seems as if he had seen or uh, he had seen a dragon yesterday. Yes, do you remember? We use uh, if it is real for if it were real now. If it were real, we will uh, we would use uh, present perfect tense. But now we use past perfect tense. Not if seems as if he would see, as if he would see a dragon tomorrow. Yes, not if seems as if he would see a dragon tomorrow. How does Faik seem? Faik seems as if uh, he would uh, he would live as if he would live on the moon next year. Okay. Dialogue for Burju looks as though she saw Alibaba and forty thieves. Yes. How does Jale look? Jale uh, Jale looks. As if she saw Robin Hood, for example, a character, an imaginary character in the history, or a book character. Some people pay a compliment. Ah, this is the wise saying of Albert Hubbard. Some people pay a compliment as if they expected a receipt. Yes, a response. Okay. Pay a compliment as if they expected a receipt. Of course, as if again. Five, Burhan behaves as if he were responsible. Burhan behaves as if he saw. Burhan behaves as if he again expected. Burhan behaves as if he wrote a masterpiece. Yeah. Burhan behaves as if he were responsible for the education of all the people in the world. Is this possible? So because it is impossible, we say as if he were responsible for the education of all the people in the world. Who seems as if he were a fairy tale character? Yasemin seems as if he were a fairy tale character, as if he she were a fairy tale character. Who seems as if he is a fairy tale writer murat seems as if he is yeah, a person uh, uh, you um, i or an a person uh, can be a fairy tale writer but uh, each of us cannot be a fairy tale character so murat seems as if he is a fairy fairy tale writer so this is a small comparison. 
Six, Nazif tells stories as if he were Nasreddin Hoca. Who behaves as if he were Mark Twain? Robert <coughs> behaves as if he were Mark Twain. He is Robert. Mark Twain uh, lived years ago, and but today, uh, Robert lives today. Robert uh, behaves as if he were Mark Twain. Dialogue 7. Nazif tells stories as if he were living in the past. Is it possible for us to live in the past? No, of course, it is impossible. But look at Nazif. Check out Nazif. Nazif tells stories as if he were living in the past. Who tells stories as if he were living in the future? Uh, David Uh, tells stories as if he were living in the future. Yes, as if or, or as though. Now this is the B part of the main B part. Okay, sub B part of the main B part. To express other illustrations about the past. Yes. Uh, to express other illustrations about past or past perfect. Just uh, illustrations <coughs> about the past. Yes. Uh, with this structure, again, uh, now the main clause is in the past, okay? So, uh, the as if clause is either in the simple past or past perfect tense. Like this, Marco screamed yesterday, for example. Marco, Marco, uh, Marco screamed yesterday, yesterday as if he had seen a ghost. So we can say uh, Marco screamed as if he saw a ghost yesterday. Okay? Uh, but uh, because uh, the action the action to see happened before screaming. I think this one is better. I am sure you can also see the uh, difference between the simple past and past perfect uh, as as if close. Marco screamed as if he had seen a ghost. How did Roberto scream? Roberto screamed as if uh, as if he had seen a dinosaur. Eight yesterday, Emre looked. Okay, Emre limped, uh, seemed. Emre looked as if he had seen Kerolo. How did Robert look yesterday? Uh, Robert looked as if he had seen Robin Hood yesterday. Contrary to to the fact, that these are all improbable situations. Semi seemed as if he had seen a fairy tale character. How did Serjan seem yesterday? Serjan seemed as if uh, he had seen uh, Marco Polo uh, yesterday. Okay. Dialogue 10, Burhan behaved as if he had been Yeah, Burhan behaved as if he had been, went and came, okay? As if he had been or as if he were responsible for the education of all the people in the world. Yes, but this happened yesterday, okay? Burhan behaved, Burhan behaved as if he were responsible for the education of all the people in the world or as if he had been responsible for the education of all the people in the world, and for a long time. How did Harun behave on the panel? Harun uh, behaved yesterday as if uh, he had, as if he had read all the books in the world. So this is also impossible. Now, uh, dialogue 11. Talat seemed as if he had met the seven dwarf 
and the Snow White. How did Fuad seem yesterday? Uh, Fuad uh, seemed as if uh, as if he had he had seen the forty thieves. Okay. Of course, we can make hundreds of thousands of sentences. Yes. Olivia seemed as if she were or as if she had been a fairy tale character. How did Susie seem? Susie seemed as if uh, she had been Don Quixote, as if she had been Mona Lisa, as if she had, uh, as if she had been uh, the Snow White, for example. Dialogue 13, Yilmaz told stories as if he were Nasrettin Hoca. How did Nazif talk last Sunday? Nazif talk as if he were Mark Twain. 14a, Carol and Diana were talking as if they had, uh, hadn't seen each other for years. How were Tahsin and Celal, Celal talking to each other? Uh, Tahsin and Celal uh, were talking to each other as if they hadn't seen uh, any rivers, as if they hadn't seen any mountains. As I said, we can produce, we can make thousands of millions of sentences on the condition that uh, we remember the nouns, some nouns, some words. Yes. How were Tahsin and Celal talking to each other? Uh, Tahsin and Celal were uh, talking to each other uh, as if, okay, as if uh, they had they had caught a fish, as if they hadn't caught any fish. Okay. Yes. Now quiz time. Uh, it is about, of, of course, uh, we, are, we have been studying the if clauses, the alternative if uh, expressions, uh, mixed type of if clauses, and as if clauses. So it will be all about them. Okay, unless, for example, uh, if unless Tom saw, unless Tom, Tom Shaw receives ample or adequate plenty of compensation, the other workers blank on strike. Yes, unless Tom Shaw receives ample compensation. Okay, let's see the key. Uh, unless Tom Shaw receives ample compensation, the other workers will go on strike. Okay, will go on strike, will stop working and we'll go on strike. But the opposite of unless, what is it? Uh, even if, even if, uh, but then uh, it isn't a friendly, uh, it isn't a friendly behavior. For example, even if Tom Shaw receives ample compensation, the other workers will go on strike. Yes, as a, the opposite meaning now, Yes, unless Tom Shaw receives ample compensation, uh, the other workers will go on strike. This means uh, they won't go on. They won't go on strike if their friend Tom Shaw receives plenty of compensation or adequate compensation or ample compensation. Okay, is it clear? Uh, yes, we will again study them uh, in the uh, following uh, presentations. For example, while we are studying, uh, while we are studying, uh, and group conjunctions, but group conjunctions, so group conjunctions, etc., etc. Okay. As long as okay, as long as he blank hard. It would be easy to pass the test. It would be easy to pass the test. So here, the let's remember the second type. 
if he studied hard, or as long as he studied hard, it would be easy to pass the test. It would be e it would be easy for him to pass the test. Uh, three. I wish she blank him, but she. I wish she blank him, but she did. Hmm. So I. Uh, I wish a negative situation. I wish she hadn't married. Okay. I wish she hadn't married him, but she did last month. I wish she hadn't married him last month, but she did it last month. Okay. Four, they will change the road. They will change the road. I wish they. So we need simple past because there are only two types of wish clauses. One of them is with simple past and about the present and future. But uh, the second one is uh, with past perfect tense, and it's all about the uh, past. Okay, now, so past of will. They will change the road. I wish they wouldn't. I wish they wouldn't change the road. I, uh, but I, I wish they wouldn't is enough. Okay, and it's very practical. Five, I wish, uh, sorry. Uh, five, I will fly to Tokyo. I wish I blank there. I wish I will fly to Tokyo. I wish I could learn. Yes, what? I will fly to Tokyo. I wish I could learn Japanese. Yes, that's right. Here, Japanese. Okay, yes. Now it's okay. Uh, I will fly to Tokyo tomorrow, for example. I wish I could learn Japanese there. Okay. Wish clause. Now vocabulary. Vocabulary studying time. Okay. Now the first word is volunteer as a verb. Uh, offer to do something without expecting any reward, any material thing. Volunteer to do something, volunteer for something is also possible. Volunteer something as something. Upbeat is an adjective making you feel uh, that good things will happen. Optimistic, but the opposite is downbeat, pessimistic, downbeat, not up upbeat yes a different uh, a different adjective can we say upbeat person yes we can say for example jale is upbeat today jale seems uh, seems adjective seems upbeat today relieve as a verb reduce lessen lighten ease alleviate reduce someone's pain or unpleasant feelings Relief as a noun, the noun form of relief. Relief means comfort, well-being, contentment. Grieve is the opposite, opposite of relief. Over, uh, re grieve over, yeah, the grief for. Feel extremely sad, especially because someone you love has died. Feel or sad or be sad, be distressed, be afflicted by or be afflicted with. If something grieves you, it makes you feel very unhappy or upset. It distresses you, it afflicts you. Okay. Grief is the noun form and is the opposite of relief. The noun, relief. Yes, grief, sadness, a sad feeling, unhappiness, depression, anguish, misery, melancholy, sorrow, heartache, or getting, having the blues, the opposite is joy, joyfulness, delight, uh, relief, yes. Okay, 
Now, I am ready to be tested, passive. I am ready to be tested on, on or about volunteering to play games with children in an orphanage. Who is ready to be tested on pioneering the new approach to learning English? Mahmoud Bey is ready to be tested on pioneering the new approach to learning English. What are you ready to be challenged? I am ready uh, to be, I am ready to be challenged, uh, to be challenged on, on uh, walking across, walking across that forest. Okay, Wahid volunteers to give money to people, just like saying Wahid wants to give money to people in need. Who volunteers to say hello to anyone they meet? My friend Akif uh, volunteers to say hello to anyone he meets. Who is ready to volunteer? Uh, this is important. Volunteer to do something. Who is ready to volunteer to smile at people? Uh, my neighbor uh, Hassan Bey is ready to volunteer to smile at people. Who volunteers to help children to be treated well by their parents? Uh, my neighbor, uh, my neighbor, my neighbor Robert volunteers to help children to be treated well by their parents. What do you volunteer to do? I volunteer to visit, I volunteer, I volunteer to visit the people in need. Now, oh, this will be an image uh, and I will share it on English Acquiring channel. Okay, as an image, of course. Uh, what does it say? Umut feels, yes, Umut feels happy, joyful, cheerful, and uh, let's add our vocabulary, this adjective. Umut feels upbeat about the future. Who feels cynical? or down, downbeat about the future. Uh, Engin feels uh, downbeat about the future. And what does Umut say? Umut, Umut always says, good things will come. Good things will happen in the future. But what does uh, Engin say? Engin always says, uh, negative things will happen in the future. This is the difference between Umut and Engin. Now, Feride always tries to relieve the tension, to ease the tension between her friends. How does uh, she herself feel after relieving her friends' anxieties? Of course, she feels upbeat. After relieving her friends' anxieties, Gökhan was relieved. Yes, Gökhan was relieved to see that his father had had booked the flight to Italy. Was he relieved to know how he would travel or where he would uh, where he would travel? He was relieved to know uh, where he would travel. Now this is all. Uh, yeah, this also will be a key, it will be an image, okay, and uh, it will be shared on our English acquiring channel as a as an as an image. Relief and grief. Relief and grief are the two rhythms of life. One follows the other uh, consecutively, yes, respectively. Alternative or secretive. Okay, concept is a noun, the general idea behind the slogan. Yes, the general idea behind the slogan or a campaign. Consideration, viewpoint. Yes, implement as a verb, bring about. To put into practice, operation, carry out, accomplish, or fulfill. Implement. Yes, fulfill. The concept of the project sounds useful. 
how does uh, how long does it take to implement that project yes i think i am not sure but i think uh, it takes uh, it takes uh, two, 3 days to implement or to carry out that project to put that project into practice it will take 3 days to put that project into practice or practice or to fulfill that uh, project to implement that project now pre uh, premonition premonition of and that uh, that clause a feeling that something especially something unpleasant is going to happen okay foresight yes premonition also means foresight okay intuition uh, i have had a premonition that he would be ill yes i have had a pre premonition that noun that noun that he would be ill did he become ill or was yeah. it just a premonition or illness of course it was just a premonition it wasn't he, it uh, it wasn't an illness and he didn't became ill he just had a, a kind of premonition eccentric eccentric means having a different center eccentric eccentric means having a different center one who does not behave like others difficult Oh, difficult, famous, difficult. Why did I put it here with its explanation? Somehow, someone who is difficult behaves in an unreasonable and unhelpful way. So for a person, we, if you say, for example, Ahmed Bey is a difficult person. Yes, if you say, it is also a usage uh, like this. Okay. Tunjai tends to be eccentric. He sometimes behaves in an unusual way. Furthermore, he tries to appear different from other people. Who tends to be difficult? Mahmoud tends to be difficult. What does he or she do at times? Uh, she uh, does unreasonable, uh, unreasonable things. Uh, and nobody can find a way to help him because she does unreasonable things because she is a difficult, difficult person. Okay, signify, yes, I love this verb, uh, be a sign of something. His, uh, ex his explanation is also beautiful. Be a sign of something. Signify also means mean, okay? Express or represent something such as an idea. Yeah, this is also beautiful. Express uh, something uh, such as an idea or represent something, yes. Okay, uh, idea or thought or fact. That Jamal lives below his means, this is a that clause, uh, signifies that is another uh, that clause signifies that he knows how to spend money. Yes, it means it. Okay, this means this. This. What is this? What is the other this? So that Jamal lives below his means signifies that he knows how to spend money. Yes, this signifies this. Okay. What does it signify that Erdem lives beyond his means? What does it signify? It signifies that Erdem is extravagant. Erdem is not thrifty, is not frugal, is not economical. Again, economic or economical? Which one? I think economic. Uh, er Erdem doesn't have an economic attitude. Okay. 
Does Jamal or Erdem spend less than he earns? Does Jamal or Erdem spend less than he earns? Uh, er, Erdem? No, Jamal. Jamal spends less than he earns. We know that Erdem spends uh, more than he earns because he lives beyond his means. Okay, but Jamal Bey is frugal. Jamal Bey is thrifty. Jamal Bey is economic. So Jamal Bey lives below his means. Uh, he earns that much money, but he spends uh, that much money. Okay, at a lower level. Now, who spends more than he earns? Of course, Erdem spends more than he earns. Oh, less than yes, okay. Look down on somebody or something. <clears throat> of course, it has also uh, a physical meaning, uh, a virtual meaning, and a uh, literary meaning. Okay, literally. As a phrasal word, think that you are better than that kind of people. Think that, okay. Uh, they are better than someone else, for example, because they are more successful or they are of a higher social class than the, uh, than the other people. So they don't respect the other people. They look down on, okay? They look down on the other people and the things. Talk, uh, talk down to somebody is just like this. Talk to someone as if they are stupid, although they are not, although they are uh, smart and genius, uh, uh, as if they are stupid. Patronize somebody, yeah. Patronize somebody means talk down to somebody. Now, this is the opposite of it and uh, approved and uh, positive meaning. Look up to, look up to, appreciate somebody, yeah. Look up to somebody. Admire and respect someone. Ayan looks down on his neighbor at times. Yeah, this is disapproval. This is a negative behavior. Do you think his neighbor tends to look down on him or look up to him? I don't think, but I am sure that his neighbor uh, tends to look up to him because uh, he is a person of is a person of uh, dignity and integrity. He is a person of uh, virtues. He is a virtuous person, and I am sure he looks up to him as a human being. Okay. Bahri looks down on Nedim as Nedim hasn't obtained a degree from university. Why does Nedim always Talk down to Mohsin. Nedim always talks down to Mohsin uh, as or because he hasn't uh, he hasn't earned enough money. Okay. In any meeting, there should be a speaking environment atmosphere. Yeah, this is really important. It is a motto-like sentence. In any meeting, there should be structure is also important. There should be, there must be, there seems to be uh, there uh, okay, there has to be, there should be a speaking environment or atmosphere. Let's never distance ourselves from our close friends as a verb, distance. Let's never distance ourselves from our close friends. There are two types of distancing as physical distancing and as emotional distance, distancing. We should never distance ourselves from universally accepted good qualities. Yes. They are what determine our humanity. They make up. They make up our humanity. Our humanity is made up of uh, 
those human good qualities. Okay. Yes, thank you very much and uh, have a good day and goodbye for now. See you next time.